Colonel Gould, Garrison Manager Aaron Goodman, Sergeant Major Kyle Brinkman, Superintendent Rogers, Assistant Superintendent Pitt, Mr. Ernst, Mrs. Walker, Mrs. Manzione, Tuella School Board members, beloved parents, family, and friends. Welcome to the graduation for the class of 2020. The class of 2020 has shown true resilience during this unprecedented time. The 2020 pandemic has brought many challenges to their daily lives. This class has faced each challenge with grace and grit. We appreciate your attendance at the graduation ceremony for Dugway High School and for the time and support you have given our seniors during their years at Dugway High School. The class of 2020 has many fond memories of their years here and tonight we would like to celebrate graduation with all of you. Thank you. Hello everyone. It is a great honor to get to introduce to you our guest speaker, my mother, and the assistant superintendent of our school, Ms. Dolene Pitt. Dolene Parkinson Pitt was born and raised in Grantsville, Utah. She graduated from Grantsville High School in 1976. There, she then met and married her husband of 44 years. Dolene and Craig have built a wonderful life together with five children, 15 great-grandchildren and three great-grandchildren with three more greats on the way. Dolene has always enjoyed education and has served more than 30 years in the education system. In 1989, she graduated from Utah State University with a bachelor's degree in, sci in science and special education, followed by her master's degree in education in 1992. She began her journey in education in Tooele County School District in 1988. From 1988 to 1994, she was a special education teacher at Tooele High. From 1994 to 1998, she was principal at Wendover High School. 1998 to 2002, she was the vice principal at Tooele High. In 2002, she became the special education director for Tooele County School District she served the special education system until 2011. From 2011 until present, she has been the assistant superintendent and has served many families in education in our county. Dolene has always worked very hard in education and supporting our students, as well as many others over her many years in the education system. She has always been my role model and the main reason I chose to go into education. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Assistant Superintendent, Ms. Dolene Pitt. Colonel Gould, Principal Wyatt, parents, teachers, and the graduating class of 2020. It is my absolute privilege to participate in your graduation ceremony. You are a very unique group of students. You have a claim to fame in that many of you were born in the year 2001, when the United States experienced one of the most tragic events in modern history, 9-11. Now you are graduating in the second most tragic event, the world pandemic. You are destined for greatness. Graduates, you have spent the past 13 years to reach this milestone in your life. It may not be happening exactly the way you had imagined, but it is no less important, and we are here to honor your accomplishments. I would like to share a few words of advice to all of you as you move forward. First, believe in yourself. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. You live in the greatest country in the world where you're free to choose what your future is. It doesn't mean there won't be roadblocks or disappointments along the way, but remember all of the happy things in life. When things seem impossible is when you need to gear up, buckle down, and get going. Most important, do not give up, because at the point you want to give up is when you're going to accomplish your goal. Ray Kroc, the man who made McDonald's a worldwide company said, press on, nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not, there's nothing more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not, the world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination are alone are omnipotent. I challenge you to all push forward towards your goals. Second, start with the dream. 
what do you want to do the rest of your life? Until now, you have had your life planned for you. Think about it. Your parents decided what you'll do and when. Then comes your teachers who are planning your day. Now, it's up to you to start planning, not only for the next day, but for the rest of your life. Anatoly France once said, to accomplish great things, you must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. You must be willing to work for that dream. Thomas Jefferson said, if you want something you've never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done before. So make that decision and move forward and work hard. That dream may change along the way. You may find out that the first dream you have really isn't what you want to do the rest of your life. Think long and hard about what you should do or what you would like to do as a profession and then work to make it happen. Henry David Thoreau said, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined. If you love your work, if you love what you're doing, you will never work a day in your life. There is nothing sadder than having to go to work every day hating what you're doing. Third, put together a game plan. Start with what you want to do most and then break down the steps to reach that goal. Your plan will change along the way, but it may become something even greater than you had originally thought. You have a roadmap to, believe, to begin to follow. Don't let critics get you down. It's, it's important to live your life with integrity and not give in to peer pressure trying to be something that you're not. All those wonderful dreams you have are nothing if you don't take action and make them come true. My dream to become a school teach, was to become a school teacher wasn't always easy. I started later with college than most. I was married, had a full-time job, and four little children at home. So to go, go to college three or four nights a week was hard. When I'd get discouraged, my husband would encourage me to continue to follow the plan we'd developed. And sure enough, in four short years, I had accomplished my goal and had become a teacher. Now I have a job that I love, and going to work has never been a hard task. Fourth, be persistent in accomplishing your goal. Do whatever it takes. Ellen DeGeneres once said, when you take risks, you learn that there will be times when you succeed, and there will be times when you fail, and both are equally important. Most people learn from failure, more from failure than success. Did you know that Walt Disney would fi was fired from a Kansas City Star newspaper because the editor said he lacked imagination and had no good ideas? Where would the world be without Walt Disney and all he accomplished? Lady Gaga was dropped from her first record label after three months. Now is worth an estimated $59 million. These people and many others failed at first but got back up and were persistent. But realize that you can't do it alone. It takes the support from others. Whether that be your parents, friends, or teachers, learn from the people you come in contact with. Take advantage to learn everything you can. I wish you the best as you move forward in the world. Always remember the friendships you have made here in Dugway. I understand that some graduates have joined the military. I thank you for your service. Again, thank you for this opportunity, and God bless all of you. It is my honor tonight to introduce to you our guest speaker, Colonel Scott Gould, a Colorado native, Reserve Officer Training Corps after graduating from the University of Colorado with a degree in physics. He holds master's degrees in engineering management from Missouri University of Science and Technology and in strategic, strategic studies from the U.S. Army War College. Colonel Gould has served in various staff and leadership positions throughout his career. These positions include Staff Chemical Officer, Battalion Adjutant, Operations Officer, and Executive Officer. He has commanded at all levels, including the 44th Chemical Company, the Bluegrass Chemical Activity, and his current command, Dugway Proving Ground. 
He has deployments to Iraq in 2003 and 2009, and a, and a deployment to the Middle East region in 2007. His 24-year career has taken him and his family from Colorado to Germany, Fort Hood, Texas, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, Fort Lewis, Washington, and many more locations. His wife Petra, daughter Madison, and son Gavin have accompanied, accompanied him along his career. Please welcome Colonel Scott Gould. Good afternoon. I am truly honored to be the graduation speaker for the Dugway class of 2020. Today is definitely not the day that any of us imagined when school started and Sergeant Major Brinkman and I were standing out front of the school greeting everybody as they came in for their first day of school back in August of 2019. But today is a great Dugway day. As we recognize the graduates and I offer my applause to your accomplishments. I'd like to thank the parents and families of our graduates for your support uh, of them through their school years and your support is instrumental in getting your graduates to this point in their lives. I'd also like to acknowledge the, the Dugway faculty and staff for your hard work and dedication in getting these fine graduates to this point to, so they can be termed high school graduates. Class of 2020, you've made it. Today marks an important milestone of your lives. You're also achieving this milestone during extremely challenging times. COVID-19 completely derailed your senior year and all the great things that traditionally accompany uh, this great milestone, things like senior ditch day, senior prom, your last sports event as a high school senior, um, the, your awards nights, and most importantly, the time to close with your close friends, teachers, and loved ones at the end of this great milestone, at the end of a time period of your high school era. That's hard. But let's not dwell too much on these challenges. You will find that the challenges you face today will build resilience and determination in your future. Instead, let's focus on the opportunities presented to our graduates today. Each and every one of you has been presented a key. No, it's not a key to a brand new car, although some of you may have gotten that. It's not a key to a house or an apartment. It's, uh, by graduating high school, you now have a key, a key to the future, your future a key to expand your potential, and a key to achieve your goals, a, and a key to endless possibilities as you move forward. This key you earned through your own hard work with support of your families and teachers. This future, your future, requires hard work and persistence to achieve your goals. So many years ago, I stood in your shoes, longer than I care to count, um, I come from a small mountain town, small mountain community in Colorado. Our school was small, although not as small as Dugway. Um, and like some of you, I grew up out of town. I did not have a nearest neighbor for, uh, for quite a ways. Um, I was full of excitement uh, of, uh, to be done with school, to be done with high school, and to start on my next step of the journey. And it seemed so clear and straightforward to me. What I didn't see is that there were challenges and obstacles that were going to be thrown in front of me as I moved through the next chapter. It turned out I had many more challenges to get through the next six years uh, as I left high school and went into college. My plan was to attend college with an R Army ROTC scholarship and graduate in four years. There were challenges thrown at me, many of them of my own making while I was in college, but some of them uh, not of my own making, but they all kind of set me off track. In particular, subjects like calculus and mathematical methods and theoretical physics truly challenged me and threw me off my plan. I almost gave up, I almost changed my goals, uh, but I worked hard and remained persistent to get past these barriers. Working hard and persistence makes a difference. It did add two years to my college plans, but I ultimately achieved my goal, graduating from, uh, from college with a degree in physics and being commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army. I wouldn't have gotten there without the key, the high school diploma that I had in my hands, much like you have this key, your high school diploma in your hands. I would not have gotten to that point without it. Um, understanding I had hard work and persistence 
or, and that I needed to work hard and have persistence was something I, had, I needed to learn at that point uh, after I graduated from high school. And ultimately, the key, working hard and being persistent, is the reason why I'm standing here in front of you today as a colonel in the United States Army and as the commander of Dugway Proving Ground. So COVID-19 has done much to disrupt and derail your senior year. Learn from it. Focus on your future goals. You are now a high school graduate and possess the key to your future. Take that key, combine it with hard work and persistence. Remain persistent in all your future challenges and you can accomplish many great things. Congratulations to you, the class of Dugway 2020. Congratulations, graduates. I'm extremely happy for you. I look forward to seeing you pursue and accomplishing your goals and I wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Good evening, Mr. Wyatt, faculty, teachers, parents, and most of all, fellow graduates. Today is a bittersweet day as we celebrate our graduation in a very unusual way. Unlike many others, I know all too well about having to adjust when things don't go as planned. I've experienced many last minute changes in my life, but this one has affected me the most. When I started my freshman year at Air Academy High School, I already knew I'd be moving to another school, but little did I know I'd be moving to three different schools in three different states. Switching schools has always been easy for me since I did it all the time, but after moving to Virginia where I was supposed to finish high school, my dad got another assignment a year and a half later. So when I found out I was moving again right before my last year of high school, I was not too happy. I thought to myself, they couldn't just wait one more year to make my dad move. How impatient can y'all be? Even though I knew the Air Force could send us anywhere at any time, I was really hoping I'd stay put until it was time to go to college. Something I've learned these past four years is to work as hard as possible. When you work hard to achieve your goals, you really can do anything. Jim Rohn, a motivational speaker said, don't let your learning lead to knowledge, let your learning lead to action. And this is something I think we should all think about often because not only does it matter what you know or how much you learned, it matters that you apply what you know to your work and real life to succeed. I can speak from experience because when I first started high school, I knew I was smart. I always knew I was smart and I thought that was going to get me on top, but it wasn't. It wasn't until my junior year that I realized I actually have to work. Yeah, I know a lot of things, but I'm not doing anything with the stuff I know. That's when I started working harder and applying my knowledge to my work. And that's what got me to where I am right now. <clears throat> working hard and using what you know can, can do great things for you. Now that we've made it this far, I believe we can all do whatever we set our minds to. We've made it through 12 years of stressful tests, huge projects, and many, many homework assignments. If you ask me, I think we've all worked pretty hard, and if we continue to do just that, we'll be all right. I would like to thank our class. Class of 2020 is the strongest class. We were born during a horrible event and are now having to face this great pandemic. The way COVID-19 has changed a lot of things for us is upsetting, but the fact that we still got our work done and we continue to work hard is something we should all be proud of considering how lazy the seven of us are. Ever since school got shut down, I missed all of us complaining to Ms. Fairbanks that she gives too much work and begging her every day to let us have a free day. I thought for sure since we weren't going to school anymore, we would all just ignore the work our teachers sent us since they really couldn't make us do it now. This pandemic has prevented us from being able to have just a couple more classes together before we all leave, but I'm grateful for all the times we had before this unfortunate event. Even though English was the only class we all shared at the same time, I'm glad we got to know each other and be together. I miss all of us talking and wasting time pretending like Miss Fairbanks didn't just give us an assignment. I'll miss all of our volleyball and basketball games, but I definitely won't miss coach yelling baseline. This year has been a great one for me. 
moving to a place I didn't even know existed and getting to meet all of you guys. I never imagined such a small school actually existed or that I would ever even attend one. But being able to know my whole senior class personally was pretty cool and I'm glad I moved my senior year after all. Some people I would like to thank that helped me through this journey are Miss Ernst for letting me be in her office almost every day asking her a million questions but always taking the time to help me out or do something for me. Coach Andrus for teaching me how to play volleyball and basketball so I could be part of the teams. All my friends and my sister for making this year way better than I expected it to be. My dad for not only helping me get through high school with his love of all things history, but also guiding me through all my college applications, even if it wasn't to the ones close to home. Lastly, my mom for not letting me give up and pushing me to be greater every day, even when she doesn't think she's yelling. We are graduating today filled with joy that we are finally done with our teachers teaching us stuff we'll never use in real life. We're finally done with our parents being able to check grade speed and bugging us about those late grades, missing assignments, and those poorly scored tests. While we're happy to be done with this milestone in our lives, it saddens me that this is all over and that this is the way our graduation has to be separated and not being able to enjoy our big moment all together. I know this COVID-19 has been hard on all of us, changing a lot of plans and forcing us to make big adjustments, but I'm proud of us all. We fought through everything that came our way this past year and we made it, but the tough part is just beginning. After this ceremony today, we will finally be entering the real world. And even though it seems scary, I believe in each and every one of us. As we all go our separate ways, I wish we, uh, I wish, I wish all of you the best, and hope you all do great things. Thank you. Before I present the graduates, we need to congratulate our valedictorian Talia Roper and our salutatorian Elizabeth Whalen, Superintendent Rogers, Assistant Superintendent Pitt, Director Ernst. Human Resource Director Christensen, School Board President Manzione, and School Board members. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Dugway High School, I hereby declare that these candidates have met all the requirements of the State of Utah and the Twila County School District for a high school diploma and request that such a diploma be conferred upon them. Well, we're certainly happy to be here today, but we would be happier to be here if we had seven of you sitting in front of us um, so that we could see your faces on this exciting day of your graduation. But we are happy that we get to participate and then we get to be here with you and our hearts go out to you in this, um, this season of your life. As is typical when we accept graduates, typically we give a few words of wisdom and because I I don't know, I like music. I tend to go to song lyrics to give my words of wisdom. So I'd like to share a couple of song lyrics because um, <clears throat> these are interesting times these days. I've gone back to some classic oldies, but goodies. Hopefully you'll be able to recognize a couple of them. Um, Pat Benatar um, tells us, hit me with your best shot. Gloria Gaynor says, I will survive. And Journey says, don't stop believing. I hope as graduates who are getting ready to go out into the world, you know that um, I think we've been hit with a really good shot this year and we've come out on top and you've hung on and survived and your life will continue to be this way. No matter what comes your way, um, you will come out on top and survive and never stop believing. And one of my favorite lyrics that's from a recent movie comes from Hugh Jackman's Greatest Showman and he says, because every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me awake. I think of what the world could be, a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's going to take. A million dreams for the world we're going to make. I know that between the seven of you graduates that are here at Dugway High School, there are at least a million dreams. And I hope you live your life to fulfill those dreams and you never stop dreaming and you never stop believing. 
um, good luck in your future. Good luck as you go out into the world. And uh, Principal Wyatt, I am excited and happy to accept um, these graduates of Dugway High School on behalf of the Board of Education. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you.